Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're taking a look at the new Hermes shiny lipsticks. So here in the US they are calling them shiny lipsticks. It looks like in the UK and other places they are Briant lipsticks. So I put one back in the box so you can kind of see how it's packaged but this is how the Hermes lipsticks come. These are refillable packaging and they retail for 72 US dollars because they are limited edition. The permanent line lipsticks are 67, but limited edition ones are 72. So when you open that up, you get this little slide through box. Inside you have a canvas pouch and your lipstick is in there. So this here, you've got the Hermes logo, it's concave gold disc, and this is, like a kind of like a I think it's ceramic and we have a strong magnetic closure here and then these are always like color blocked so the limited edition items always have different color blocking whereas the normal permanent line ones are going to all have the same color blocking so for reference this is what the permanent line looks like all the limited edition ones have different colors on them and you can, they, they, again, they're refillable, so you can mix and match to your desire. Now you can buy refills of things that are in the permanent line, but things that are limited edition, you cannot purchase refills of. So we have three new lipstick shades, and this is what they look like. You can see it looks kind of matte here on the bullet until you use it, and then it looks shiny. These are actually a lipstick, lip balm, kind of lip gloss, kind of hybrid product. And if you are familiar with the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine, this is their lip balm lipstick hybrid that came out with the original collection. And it was the only one to have like a different color component here. We've got the orange and it was, you know, I think it was originally intended to be the only one in the line. You know, it's called the Poppy Lip Shine. It has sparkle in it. It's orange. You can see mine's almost gone here. I love this thing. And this is one sheer layer of it. So we'll do um, one and three layers of everything here. So you can see this one has some shimmer in it. You can see the particles in here. It's actually pretty shiny. It gives you kind of like a, a light. It, it's, I wouldn't say, like it's a true orange. You know, there's an equal balance kind of of the red and the yellow in there, but it's, just a little bit softer and lighter. So it's not super yellow, it's not super red. Um, it's a pretty muted neutral orange. And that is a fantastic product. This is one that is permanent. You can buy refills of this. So yeah, absolutely love this. I, yeah, it smells like oranges too, by the way. <laughs> so the new lipsticks actually are following the same formula as the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. So these are called the shiny lipsticks. And again, they are limited edition, but if you take out the sparkle in there, you have essentially the same base formula. So we have three shades that were released. This one here with the purple and the red. This is number five. And again, the line's called Briant. So five Briant, Beige Doe is the color name or beige water. So this is very, very light. And there, I think we did four that time, but you can see, you can build it up a little bit, but this is pretty much almost clear on your lips. You're not really gonna get a ton of color from this. If you're looking for just a little bit of a tint, this is a good one. Again, it's very comfortable and you have sheen to it, okay? You can see that it's shiny. You might have some very, very, very finely milled sparkle particles in there, but not sparkly like the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. So it's really more just like so incredibly finely milled that you can't really see it, but it's catching the light. So that's how these three are. And then we also have 35 Briant Orange Capucine or Orange Capucine. And here's one layer of that. And the beige doe is described by Hermes as a sunny beige, whereas this one is described as an orange, a rosy orange. So you can see compared to the poppy lip shine that this one definitely is 
not quite a coral. It's definitely still an orange, but you definitely have some of those pink tones in there. It's also more vibrant. It, I mean, look at it. It looks almost neon <laughs> in the bullet. And then going on, it's really a nice, bright, fresh orange for the summer. So the packaging for this, we've got gray and like a lime green. And then we also have this one here, which has periwinkle, the color of the year from Pantone, and orange. This is 38 Briant Rose Nymphaea. And this one is my favorite of these three. So we've got one layer here, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Okay, so there's Rose Nymphaea. This is described as a pink rose with a touch of lilac. And I would say that's pretty accurate. You know, it's really like you started off with a neutral rose and you cooled it off just a tiny bit with a little bit of a lilac shade in there. So it ends up running slightly cool. So I think overall, all four of these shades are gorgeous. My personal favorites are still going to be the Poppy Lip Shine and then the Rose Nymphaea. I think they're absolutely stunning. Now, these are very comfortable on the lips. They're moisturizing while you have them on. They're not reparative, that's not their purpose, but they are moisturizing and very comfortable, very easy to reapply. And I love having, you know, tinted lipsticks kind of all around or tinted lip balms essentially. And I'm I'm here for these. <laughs> so, I'm really enjoying the formula. I've been wanting more versions of the Poppy Lip Shine since it first launched. So I'm very happy that they have created these. Again, the Poppy Lip Shine, you can tell by looking at it here, how much more sparkle is in here. I mean, look at the side of the tube even that hasn't been touched. You can see the sparkle embedded in it compared to any of these new ones here. And you can see the difference. So, in the lip swatches, you might see like a tiny bit of sparkle on a couple of them because I tried on the Poppy Lip Shine first. I tried to get all the glitter off, but as we all know, glitter, you know, once you have it, it's never going away. <laughs> so um, there's really no glitter in there, but if you look super closely, you can see very, very, very finely milled shimmer protocols um, kind of dispersed throughout, but it's not, it it's, it's in small amounts, so it's really just there to kind of create that sheen. And then we have that balmy texture that's going to create that moist look on your lips as well. So for me personally, I like to wear these, you know, kind of built up a little bit. So I'm getting the pigment. So it's more like a lipstick versus a lip balm. And I, you know, I don't always, but I often like to line my lips with these. So I figured I'd just go ahead and show you some of my favorite lip liners for each of these. With the Poppy Lip Shine, I don't. Like, I don't line my lips. I just use it, like, I, I use it a lot during the summer. I just apply it and reapply throughout the day. But these, the, they are a bit more pigmented on the lips, except for the beige dough. So I do like to use the orange capucine and the rose nymphaea with a lip liner. So let me show you some of my favorites. First up, this is the one I'm using today. We have number eight, Parma Silhouette from Givenchy. And I'll just put that right here so you can kind of see how that goes. And it's not a perfect match or anything, but it just goes so nicely. So I go over my edges essentially and just kind of smooth things out. Let me show you a couple other favorites. All right, so down here with the Rose and Fea, this is Pat McGrath in Half Naked. Now, I also love Done Undone um, overall as a general one, but with the Rose and Fea, I'm kind of leaning more towards the pink ones. This one here is Starstruck. And I think this one goes really nice if you wanna kind of make it a little bit deeper. And again, you can put your lip liner on, you know, underneath and just add a little color with this as well. This one here is a Sephora lip liner. It's retractable. This is the shade number one, Nudist. And this one I actually like with the beige dough up here. And that's if I want to make the beige dough a little bit more apparent. I want to be able to see a little bit more of that color. I go with something neutral. Another option, I haven't tried this with it yet, but this is the Gucci in Nude. 
that should be a good option too. It's a little bit, a uh, little, little dark, but yeah. And then if I want to actually emphasize how light beige dough is, this is a really nice option here. This is from Chanel. This one is Peachy Nude, number 154. And I think it goes really well with beige dough, unless you wanna make it a little bit darker. Another one for Rose Nymphaea, if I wanna make it darker, I like 164 Pivoine from Chanel. This is deeper, but notice the tones in here. You you do have a little bit of uh, like a, it's like a little movie, which kind of goes a little bit, brings out a little bit more of those lilac tones in there. And if I want something really bright, smudge some of the Rose Framboise number 182 with this. So nice, bright pop of pink kind of color. Now, as for the uh, orange capucine, I don't really wear orange lipsticks too often. My favorite coral lip liner is the Sweet Coral from Sisley. And this is what I've paired orange capucine with. And it adds a little bit more of a pink look to it, which personally for me and my coloring, I really like that. So I personally really like that combination there. So those are kind of the lip liners I like with it. If you wanna keep the color as pure as possible, it's always good to go with like a clear lip liner. This one is the Hermes one. It is retractable. It actually works really, really well. It's very expensive though. You can find clear lip liners from like any brand essentially. So you don't need to get the Hermes one. I just wanted to try it one time and I needed a, you know X number of dollars to get free shipping. So I figured might as well try it out. And I do really like it, but um, you know, I would probably go with a less expensive version to replace it. So the clear lip pencils, if you haven't used one, it's basically just like a clear wax that kind of helps, you know, create a seal around your lips so that the color doesn't migrate. And yeah, I think it's a really, really great product. And those are all of the lip swatches. So again, we've got the Poppy Lip Shine, we have Beige Dough, Orange Capucine, and Rose Nymphaea. And before we go, let's look at a few comparisons. So we're gonna start with the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Balms that were just released. This one here is 916 Flirty Coral. So we're gonna put that right there. And you can see that, you know, they're not gonna be a perfect match. There is a little bit more red in here. Again, it's a coral, not quite an orange, but they are fairly close. You probably don't need both shades. And then we also have 914 Natural Charm. And this one is more of a nude shade. Let's put that right here. You can see it's gonna be brown and it's definitely gonna be more pigmented compared to the beige dough, which actually is more of like a yellowy beige. We have 922 Passion Pink. This one's gonna be a lot more pigmented um, than the Rose Nymphaea, but I think tone-wise, they go pretty well. The Rose Nymphaea has just a little bit more of that lilac tone to it, but it's they're pretty close. And this one here is 918 My Rose, which is gonna be warmer in tone. The Dior Lip Balms that just came out. This one here is 586 Dior Bloom. This one we'll put near Rose Nymphaea. This is my closest to that. These are not gonna be quite as pigmented. They're gonna be a little bit more sheer. And this is gonna be a warmer tone rose. The other ones I picked up are not similar in color to any of the others. And just a few others. We have the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Lip Balms. This one here is 110. So let's put that one right here. You can see this one is going to be more nude based as well compared to beige dough, but it is a little bit lighter than the Chanel in Natural Charm. And then we also have 102, which is going to be a little bit rosier, but it's a warmer tone rose compared to the Hermes. And although these Sisley Lip Twists don't quite have the same type of texture, I figure, you know, they do have a sheen to the lips as well. This one here is number two, and it's a little bit warmer, but you can see that they actually do look fairly similar. And then we have number eight, which is more of a brighter coral shade, but you can see it's gonna be more pink. So eight and two from the Sisley Fido Lip Twists.
So just a few specs on this. These are 2.8 grams. They have an 18 month shelf life and they are made in Italy. I think they are a really beautiful product. And again, I really like the way they appear on the lips. I like the texture of them and how moisturized they may feel while I'm wearing them. They do not seem to dry out my lips when it wears off. I just kind of forget and then reapply. And yeah, I think they're a really great addition to the line. I wish they had this formula more permanent. I mean, aside from the poppy lip shine, I really like the idea of having more colors in this line. I just wish that they weren't always limited edition. And if I had to choose, aside from the poppy lip shine, I would go with Rose and Fea followed by Orange Capucine followed by Beige Doe because again, this one's not that pigmented. So I feel like for the 72 US dollars that you're paying for that, I'd like to be able to see it a little bit more since it's not like, you know, it's one thing if it's a reparative lip balm or something and you're getting benefits from it, but since it's really just comfortable on the lips and moisturizing while it's on, but not really doing anything after the fact, uh, I personally would rather be able to see more of that product. <laughs> so uh, that's why I would put Beige Doe last, but I do really like them. I think they're all great. Now, including Poppy Lip Shine, my two favorites would be Rose and Fea and Poppy Lip Shine. I just think they are so fantastic. I think Poppy Lip Shine is great for the summer. And, you know, I think Orange Capucine is gonna like really be a nice pickup for the summer as well now. And it's gonna be a hard choice. So I think it's gonna depend what you're going for. But I find the Poppy Lip Shine is just so easy to wear because it is so light and it gives a little bit of color, but not that much. So it's you know, a nice pick me up with what, especially if you're not even like wearing makeup or, you know, not wearing much. So my preferences would still be Poppy Lip Shine number one, followed by Rose and Fea, and then the Orange Capucine. And I hope this was helpful. I hope my little uh, lip liner comparison, everything was helpful for you as well. And thank you so much for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.